Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to uh, open a box of Dangerous Divas Series 2, 2014 by Rittenhouse. Stay tuned. So if you've been watching the channel, um, we opened a box of the Dangerous Divas Series 1. This is a box of Series 2. This box has already been opened and the sketch card has been removed. Uh, normally there's one color sketch inside per box. That's not going to be in here on this. The box I, would, I purchased for a, a significant discount because of that. But in essence, we still have the packs and the cards. Just to give you an idea on this uh, set by Rittenhouse, this particular one differs a little bit from the Series 1. Series 1 has a 72 base cards. This series is 90 base cards, still 24 packs, 5 cards in a pack. Um, this one is a little bit of a uniquer um, look on the cards. They're more of kind of like a mirrored look and you'll see what I mean shortly. Um, this set does have the Sultry Seductresses. Um, so there are nine of those um, that can be found. They're usually about one to one in 24 packs, so maybe we'll get lucky with just one. Um, maybe we might be able to hit more. There are some other artwork cards. There's some artifacts cards, some autographed ones that you'll see, cut archives. And in essence, um, what we're looking for in this particular set, and what I'm looking for since the sketch is removed, is, an, is that this set has parallel cards to the base, meaning it has emerald, which will be green ones, uh, limited to 100 of each card made. There'll be ruby ones, which are limited in red to 50 made, and then the diamonds, which are white cards, and they're limited to 10. Those are difficult to get, maybe one in almost every 300 or a little bit under uh, packs. So, you know, any of those kind of parallels is what I'm really looking for in this particular set. But let's open it up and see how we do. I'm pulling, uh, I'll pull a bunch of these out and see. Um, the artwork, as you can kind of see, is um, there's no odds on here or anything like that, but that's the pack art, it's all the same. Let me open this up and let's, uh, let's get started and see how we do. First up, You'll see, okay, here we go with Mystique. And you can see how the artwork is done. This one is a little bit of a matte um, finish and design. Uh, the uh, purple ones will be uh, villains, while the uh, pink ones you'll see will be uh, heroes. So Ruby Thursday, Dazzler, Psylocke, So, you know, this is another short kind of set in that printing and such like that. So with only 90 cards, it's not a really hard set to complete. It's not a really great set either, but the inserts can be really nice. Scorpia, Magic. Oh, uh, here's a hit. This is Valkyrie, or by Milo Manera. It's numbered MM6. So that is one of the, I believe, the uh, uh, women type Marvel ones. Dark Angel, Psylocke. It's a nice card. Not necessarily what I'm looking for, but still nice to hit any of the inserts. I will um, also show off some of the inserts if, uh, if I don't hit any, just to give you guys an idea of what they look like. So, next one, Pixie, Crimson Cowl, there we go, Kyara, there is a Sultry Seductress card, beautiful, 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 beautiful foiled card, this one, Jose, Omar, I think it's Ladron, if I'm saying that right, uh, that is a nice way to start, pack number two, beautiful, beautiful, uh, Hard. So I am looking for those. Lady Deathstrike and Miss Marvel. So maybe we will get lucky and there'll be another one. Those are really supposed to be about one in 24 packs. 
So typically one per box. Um, hopefully since we started early on, maybe we'll get lucky and get two. Also, just so you know, and we'll go through these, but in the back of the cards, it's basically a nine piece puzzle. So when you put them in nine pocket sleeves and you have the cards, you're gonna form a, a larger piece of art. So it's just something to know. Mary LeBeau, Gamora, Arclight, Melandra, and Emma Frost. To be quite honest with you, just by the feel of the cards, I'm, I, I prefer Series 1. I think Series 1 is a little thicker. That matte finish, the horizontal um, cards on some of them just make it really look nice. These, not my favorite, the way with the outline, but some people I know like it. Colleen Wig, Hazmat, Diamondback, Songbird, and Mayhem. Let me know what you guys think on these. Uh, you know, are you into the written house ones? I think these are really underrated, just the written house in general. Lady Punisher, Spectrum, Ahara, that'll go with that seductive soldier's card, Sin Red Skull, and Female Loki. I can make these piles a little bit better for us here. All right. Parallel cards. That's really those will be nice hits for the box. Okay, Mystique, Ruby Thursday, Dazzler, Electra, Dark Phoenix. The art is not bad. I just think that border takes away from a lot of the cards, in my opinion. Mystique. Thursday. We're already hitting those doubles, triples, Dazzler, Madeline Pryor, and Electra. Given, like I said, this is only a 90 card base set, we're gonna we're gonna hit that. On the last box that I had with Series One, it was a 72 base card set. I did not get a whole base card set. I was missing about four cards for it, so I'm guessing this one I'm gonna be missing as well. Umar, Jet Black. Gaddy, if I'm saying this right. I don't know some of these. Angela and Red She-Hulk. All right, pull these out. Just make life easier. Get them all out. Now, sealed boxes of this uh, are going for, I believe, about seven to eight hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, sealed box of this. So. These packs were much, much cheaper. Snapdragon, Beetle. Oh, here we go. That's a nice one. Mystique, this is, I think, the Artifacts. Yeah, Original Art, Liar. So, nice little hit. Beautiful artwork on that one. Dark Phoenix, and Anna Kravenoff, who is really hot right now. Her comic, given some of the, what is this? Well, that can't be good. Maybe this is how they figured it out. There's an open pack in here. Um, this is, must be where they got the art, the uh, sketch from. I haven't seen it done like this. Spider Woman, Steak, and Ruby. So that must have been in the pack. I don't know how they know which pack it is when they remove it. I've, I've always wondered that. It must be that that the same pack in the box is always the sketch card um, on that. If you know, please let me know in the comments because I, I am interested on how they figure that out. All right, let's see if we can get some hits. Come on. Turn Breaker of Men, Jocasta, Black Cat, M, and Sharon Carter. It's not, to me, it's not the, the most appealing set with these um, I think the art is nice I'm just not totally in love with it Black Widow Boundless Exterminatrix Supergiant Morgan Le Fay 
just think they could have done more. I don't know. It's it just very plain to me. As opposed to when you look at some of like the metals, some of the newer stuff, even Series 1, just the art looked, in my opinion, a lot better than, than this one, but it is what it is. Motor mouth. Silk. It's a nice looking card. Not thrilled about the border. Yolana, Yelena Belova. Hella. Proxima Midnight. Alright, let's see if we can get a diamond would be would really make it worthwhile on this one. Moonstone. White Rabbit. Maria Hill. Spiral. Spider Woman. So, let's see. Menace. What a weird, weird card. Looking card. Pregnant. Like that. Madam Hydra. Lady Punisher. Lady Bullseye. Thin Red Skull. So, very unique set for sure. Eamon, Iman, Rachel Gray, Abigail Brand, Shriek, and Wasp. Come on, let's get a parallel. Let's get a diamond. Let's get a diamond. That would really be nice. X-23, Jubilee, Princess Python, Polaris, and Storm. I mean, so far, I'm, I'm not that impressed. I'm just not that impressed. Typhoid Mary, Medusa, Abyss, ASP, Enchantress. Uh, you know, the cards are just, to me, very basic. I don't know. Hopefully, we can get something, make it worthwhile. You know, I got a great deal on the box. The box was under 100 bucks, so can't complain there. Snapdragon. Beetle. Witchfire. I'm craving off a mask. All right, five packs to go. So we're gonna try and make this short and sweet, it looks like. Sif. Iman. Rachel Gray. Deathlock. Captain Marvel. You can see that other than a few little hits, not much to the set, there's not much variation. Stunner, Rogue, Misty Knight, Mantis, Chimera, Chimera. Right. Witchfire, Sif, Not a Mask. Deathlock. Captain Marvel. Two packs left, and we have not even hit parallel. So either this box was really screwed, or we just have crap luck on this one. Um, but I don't, I don't know. It's a tough one. You be the judge. Domino. Come on. Lyra. Tarantula. Smasher. Sweet. All right, guys. Last pack. And we'll do a quick recap. There's not anything really big so far. So I'll post um, what some of the emeralds, rubies, and diamonds look like just so you guys get an idea because it doesn't look like we're going to hit one on this one. Spectrum. Era. There we go. And of course, <laughs> we hit. An Emerald of Menace. 
the ugliest one you can possibly hit. That's the one we got. Go figure. So this is the emerald, and you can see this is number 57 out of 100. Wow. That is the, the luck of this draw. Well, at least it's got a little shine to it. Female Loki, Madeline Pryor. So we've got the villains. You've got heroes. And then let's go through real quick again and talk about some of the hits. And then we'll get them sleeved up. You've got the emerald parallel that are numbered to 100. You've got the mystique. I believe this is the art FX one. Dangerous Divas. We've got the Ultra Seductress. That is really a beautiful one. Kyara. And then you have the Valkyrie. Shows up, I guess, the other ones that are on uh, artwork by Mila Era. So. Just a quick unboxing. That's it for the uh, Dangerous Diva Series 2. Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really a fan. I wouldn't pay 800 something dollars for this particular box. But, uh, you know, still something to see and open up and get a taste for. So, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.